Hey everyone. So, <coughs> I want to talk about something that's on my mind. So, I had my first boyfriend. I'm a, I'm a biromantic, um, which means it's like asexual, but you like men and women. Because I had my first boyfriend, like around 15 or so, and uh, I used to go to his house and uh, we uh, we kissed and we um, we made out old hands and you know kept it loving and I went to his house and we kissed and everything we did tongue and everything and we went behind my house and we start kissing and just make passionate, like passionately kissing. And um, we would say really nice things to each other. And then it lasted for about a year or two. And then, um, and then we got caught because then at my house, in my bedroom, we both 69 and we sucked each other off and we licked each other's nuts and we did like anal play like put our fingers up our ass and we started like kissing each other's asses and we started like rubbing each other and excessively like rubbing and touching and kissing and making out and sucking each other's nuts and jerking each other off but nobody came or anything and it wasn't it wasn't that great I I really enjoyed kissing him and then my brother caught us and um, then they moved away and I haven't seen him since and that was my boyfriend. And, um, and then I dated this one girl for like a month that my friend hooked me up with. And we dated for about a month. And, you know, she gave me a blowjob in the car. And then more on one <laughs> one occasion. Um, and, uh, and what's worse is she's a, she's a nurse assistant. So... If they found out the stuff that she was doing, she could easily lose her job. That's why I'm keeping her anonymous, because I don't want her to lose her job. Um, But she had a really fine ass and really nice perky tits, and uh, she didn't have that great of a smile. Um, She wasn't a nice girl. She just was really aggressive, and, um, and her past really disturbed me. And so, you know, we fucked. Um, I had sex with her in in my bedroom. And uh, everyone was, like, asleep or whatever. So we kept it, like, very quiet. Like, we didn't... It was just heavy breathing. That's all it was. But we started kissing and making out. We did anal. We did vaginal. We did, you know, I sucked her tits. And she liked that I sucked her titties. I made out with her a lot. She's a phenomenal kisser really good kisser well that's why I knew I was biromantic because when I made out with her that was the only thing I enjoyed was making out with her I didn't like having sex with her at all I was crying afterwards because it didn't feel like love it felt like lust I felt like she was really horny and she just wanted you know because I was a virgin with a woman and she probably just thought, you know, I just want this guy to have a good time, like what my friend said. And she, it felt like I was taken advantage of. It felt like she, it was more like, I think it's just because it's been a couple years and she hasn't fucked in a long time. And I think that she just wanted me to have that experience because she was so lustful for me. And she just, she wanted to fuck really bad. The part that really pissed me off was that when I had, when I had the condom on, I was perfectly fine with that. But then when the condom was off, she jumps on top of me again and starts really grinding into me. And I'm like, if I swear, if I get her fucking pregnant, she better get an abortion. So I was really pissed off when she did that. Cause I'm planning to get a vasectomy this year just to be safe. You know, and that really disturbed me. So, so yeah, I mean, it's cool that I've lost, you know, I've had sex with a guy, I've had sex with a girl, and, you know, it, it's cool to not die a virgin, <laughs> but you're gonna, I still feel I'm gonna die alone just because I've never had a real good, stable relationship, you know, and, 
it's 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 just weird. Like I'm not like these other people. I don't sex isn't that great. You know, I, I think it's overrated. Like I mean, I, I know for a fact I don't want sex because one, when I made out with my neighbor, I was in love with him and I kissed him and I know what love feels like because I was in love with him. You know, and he was a really cute guy and he had these glasses and, and he was super cute and you know, he, he was really skinny. He was really short. And um he was a Mormon and he had a bunch of like a bunch of brothers and sisters and they had a whole fucking huge amount of how people at that house. But somehow I was able to kiss him. So, you know, in his bedroom I was able to give him couple kisses and we kissed each other and I was in love with him and so I know what love felt like I tried looking for him on Facebook and stuff I couldn't find him but I I don't know if he has a girlfriend or not but I've but I want to find him because I want to see if he remembers me and maybe we can like date again or something Um, because I was crazy about him he was a cute cute guy and you know, we were in our teens, you know, and then I dated this bigger girl, and she, you know, she had nice curves and everything, but she had a nice, a really nice big ass, I loved grabbing it, and that was like the only thing I liked, I liked grabbing her ass and making out with her, that was it, everything else I didn't like, um, plus her personality was worrisome, you know, because, like, at one minute, she'll be super, like, calm and nice. And then all of a sudden, she's, like, bouncing around. Plus, I got tired of the stuff she would do to me. Like, jerking me off under the table while I was eating with my friends. Or or the other part that really disturbed me is, like, I'm walking with her. And there's, like, kids and everyone walking. And she pulls her pants down so I could see her ass. So I could see her panties. And I was like, what the fuck like she just didn't have class at all and that really disturbed me I like a woman with class and with dignity of herself and manners and respect and she doesn't have any of that for herself and so it was another reason why I had to break up with her because she just I don't think she respects herself she doesn't have any class I mean can you imagine if if her mom or her dad walked by and saw her do that, they'd be mortified, you know? I mean, look, I don't believe in God, but I believe in class. I believe in structure. I believe in a moral ethic code. You know, I still have morals. You know, I still have, like you know, be nice to people and, and treating people well and, and and not being slutty to people. You know, I don't like that. I don't like she's too kinky, you know. I'm not into Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't want a ball gag in my mouth. I don't want, you know, I don't want anal sex. I don't, I, I, I don't want to screw around. I don't want a three-way, you know. I, I believe in monogamy. Uh, I, I I don't want a three-way. I don't even want her to be banging other people. And it's just, you know, she's banged a lot. And she banged a big black cock before. That was another part that disturbed me. Like, how much she loves big black cock. And it's like, I have such a tiny dick. And it just, uh, to think about all those dicks I've been inside of her before me just bothered me a lot. Because, see... My neighbor and I, we were virgins before we made out with each other and sucked each other off. You know? And that guy was weird because he used to, like, kiss my sister and fucking... He was kind of weird to begin with, but I was in love with him, though. I, I liked his personality. I liked how weird he was, you know? He had a nice ass, and, you know... It was fun. We were both in our teens. We were stupid and young in love, you know. Well, I felt I was in love with him. I don't know if he was in love with me, to be honest. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say is that sex is overrated. And I I really hope I can find another biromantic or, or another person who doesn't mind not fucking around. 
So that's all I wanted to say.